what are the characteristics, what are the sources, and about what are the uses and what are the types. So let's start the video. The drop is a word which derives from a French word drop, D R O Q U E, which means a driver. By this way, you can understand that a drop is not a bad thing which we are hearing about that, but it is a thing which is also called as medicine. According to the World Health Organization, a drug is a substance or a product which is used to analyze the physiological or the pathological state of the receptant is called a drug. So who is the receptant? The person who is taking the drugs or who is taking the medicines, he is called the receptant. So what are the characteristics? The characteristics are simple. It should not be toxic. It should not affect any other tissues of the receptant. Also, it should be effective in its action or in its work. So what are the sources where we are getting the drugs? We are getting the drugs from the plants and animals but now with the help of the modern technology we are chemically synthesizing the drugs. So for example we are taking the paracetamol tablet for the fever or sick. So it is also a chemically synthesized product or chemically synthesized drug. So from plants we are getting the chloroquine. Yes chloroquine or the quinine products. Then from the uh, from the chemical strategies, we are using a lot of chemical strategies to synthesize the drug artificially. So by that way, we are getting the aspirin, which is which we are calling as the painkiller, and the paracetamol, which is which is used to reduce our fever. So from the microorganisms, we are getting the penicillin. Penicillin from the fungus or the fungi. So what are the types of drugs? I will tell you the six types of drugs. So let's enter into the types of drugs. At first, the drug first type of drug is. Anesthetics. What is mean by anesthetics? Anesthetics will make you unconscious. Or anesthetic is used to make loss of sensation. You will become unconscious. You can't know what is happening around you. So it is categorized into three types. General anesthetics, local anesthetics and the last one is chemical anesthetics. General anesthetics is used generally to make the person unconscious to a reversible conscious state. So it will help for the duration of time which we are giving. So from operation, uh, if, when you are involved in an operation, you just need to insert or inject an anesthetics general. That's called the general anesthetics. Then local anesthetics. Local anesthetics. Can we get in the local? No, it's not about that. But it just made the loss, loss of sensation in your in a particular part of your body. Uh, specifically, you are getting a fracture in your hand. You don't want to use the general anesthetics to make the complete loss of sensation. But uh, you are in injecting uh, anesthetics which is just specifically used to hands. So, have you ever noticed the dentist? He will inject an uh, injection in our gums. After that, we can't feel the pain in our gums. But we won't be unconscious. We will be in a conscious state. But we cannot feel the pain on the particular part. So this is called the local anesthetics. Exactly the localized area we are using that. And the third one is chemical anesthetics. Chemical anesthetics uh, uh, like nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide. I think you have heard about that. That means a locking gas. It's also called as locking gas. So then the second one is chloroform. Chloroform. In the olden days chloroform is very famous but now we are not using that because it's very dangerous. It's very critical because uh, when the chloroform reacts, reacts with the oxygen, it just makes a chemical uh, or a toxic gas or a toxic component. So this is about the anesthetics. Then second one is analgesics. Analgesics is just called as a painkiller or a pain reliever. So because your, you, your body parts are just pain completely. Your knee is paining, your hand is paining, your head is paining and your elbows are paining and your fingers are paining. You don't want to make the local anesthetic everywhere. So it's, a, it's just a waste of time. For that we are using some of the tablets like aspirin which will go through go to the every parts of our body and just to relieve the pain where it is. So this is called analgesics. Then the third one is antipretics which we are using in our normal life. If you get the sick, you will just take a paracetamol tablet which reduces the fever as well as the temperature of your body. So that is 
So, like that it kills a human. For this, the antiviral is obtained from the nature. The nature gives a solution for us. From the way of chinkona tree, where we are getting the chinkona bud. I don't know the exact pronunciation. C I N C H O N A. From that tree, from that tree's bark, we are getting the quinine products like prima quinine and the chloroquinine. Chloroquinine. I think you have here. We have. We all have here about the chloroquinine. Once uh, before three and four months ago, the chloroquinine is considered to be the best solution for the COVID-19, but not now because it's very dangerous to consider. So like that, what is the main work of chloroquinine? It just prevents the infection, it just prevents the infection which is inside your body, inside your organs. So antiseptic prevents the infection outer body, in, the, in your outer body or your visible body. But the anti-malarial product chloroquinine just, just prevents the infection inside your organs or inside your body. So uh, the last one is antibiotics. We have here about antibiotics in our life. So what is an antibiotic? Killing a pathogen with the help of a pathogen. What's pathogen? Pathogen is an infective agent which causes a lot of diseases to us like virus, fungi, bacteria. So like that, killing a, for example, killing a virus with the help of a virus. It's called the antibiotics. So killing a microorganism with the help of other microorganisms. So only it is just a uh, take or it's just took very few of the ml. Uh, if you are taking the antibiotics with the tonic or in liquid state, you just need to take very little amount. In tablets also, you just need to take the little amount. Otherwise, the bacteria or the microorganism which we are inserting your body, it will make your body sick. So, antibiotics, you need to make the antibiotics very carefully. So, I think you can, you learned about some of the things about drugs and its tests. So, in the next video, we will see about lot of scientific things. So, if you like this video, like, share and subscribe this channel.